question I often get is just how fast do pigs grow? Uh, the short answer is very fast, but I'd like to take a couple minutes today and give you a more complete answer. I've selected a few trees here that are dormant, uh, and that'll give you some idea of how much growth you can expect in a single season. For me, a season typically starts with a cutting that looks like this. It's about six inches long, the thickness of a Sharpie, and I will root it in a tree pot that looks like this. Uh, this is a, a four, four by nine tree pot. I'll typically start the root, rooting process sometime after the new year, say uh, early January, and then be ready to pot it outside after the frosts have passed. For me, that's uh, probably about early March. Once it's ready to go outside, I will go into one of two container sizes. Uh, here you see some five gallon containers and at the end a 15 gallon container. The growth that I expect in a single season from about that March time frame when it goes outside until it goes dormant, for me probably uh, close to the end of November. It varies per, per plant, but what you see here is fairly typical. Uh, the wall behind me is just over five feet tall and to the top of this plant is about six feet tall. Uh, this is an Oak Street Unknown and what you see here is very typical of what I'll see in a single uh, season. Now some plants are going to grow faster and I have two examples here. This is a Desert King which is well known for its vigor and it is but a Naj which I don't know much about it but it's proven to be vigorous for me. Both of these have reached about eight feet tall in their first season. The last tree here, I'd say, is not typical. This is the most growth I've seen in a single season. This is a De La Senora Iverenca. And you can see uh, from, from the ground to the top, it's about nine feet tall. And not only does it, has it achieved that height, but it's also pushed a lot of growth in offshoots especially this bottom one here, which could be a tree in its own right. So a very vigorous grower. I've seen a few others approach this size, but this is the biggest. Now we've talked about some of the typical and above average growers. I also want to talk about some of the slower growers here. Uh, this is a dwarf gold. Uh, it's, I've had it for about a season and a half. And while I have taken a cutting off of it at the bottom, nothing that would uh, you know, impact its ability to grow. So this is a slower one. Here I have a Cavalier, a very similar story, some cuttings. It's in its, uh, I've had it for about two and a half seasons. And you can see it's also a slower grower. And the same thing here, this is a Digo Preto, a synonym for Black Madeira, also two and a half seasons with me. And it's growing a bit slower than, um, than some of the other ones you've seen. So this can also happen, but again, this is, probably about a typical growth in a single season. Next, I'd like to also talk about what factors influence vigor and growth. Uh, the first one, which we've mentioned, is variety. So some varieties are gonna be more vigorous uh, than others. But take that with a small grain of salt because I could take two cuttings from this plant, grow them side by side in same conditions, and they may grow a little differently, right? One could be a uh, faster grower than the other. So variety is important, but there can be some variation within it. Uh, the next thing I wanna talk about is growing conditions. So think about the soil that the plant is going in. You may be blessed with fertile soil in your region, and if so, great. For me, I, I don't have that, and I have to amend it and uh, maybe build soil through, through various means. Think about the watering that the plants are getting. Is it too much, too little? Uh, think about how much sunlight they're getting. For me in Arizona, there is no shortage of sunlight, so I can put them in various places and they'll grow well. But if you're a northern grower, you may have to pick a sunnier spot to make sure that your plants are getting enough sun to grow. Uh, next, I wanna talk about uh, the fertilizers. And you know, again, you may have very fertile soil, so you, you don't have to worry about it as much. But for me, especially growing in pots, I will uh, add fertilizers. In pots, I will typically do a liquid 
fertilizer. And there isn't a right answer, you know, on exactly what cadence they, they need it. But if you want the most growth from your plants, doing a regular cadence of say every two to three weeks will get you uh, very, very fast growth and will put on more fruit as well. Now, one last point I want to talk about is the container size. So I have seen that while, you know, normal wisdom is to up pot slowly and gradually, uh, say going from a tree pot into a five gallon, I have gone from a tree pot straight to a 15 gallon and I've actually seen more growth in those situations. I think the roots have more space to spread out in and that influences the, uh, the speed of growth. So something to consider as well, you may, you may experiment with larger uh, pot sizes. So I hope uh, this information has been useful and helped you understand uh, how fast figs grow and some of the factors that influence that growth. Thank you for watching.